There's a crisis in the cosmos, and the fate of the entire universe may depend on how we solve it. For nearly a century, astronomers have relied on a number called the Hubble constant to understand how fast the universe is expanding. It's a value that underpins everything from the Big Bang to the formation of galaxies. Yet today, scientists are facing a shocking problem. The numbers don't seem to add up. Could it be that our understanding of the cosmos is incomplete or even wrong? For most of human history, the universe was thought to be small, centered around our Earth. Ancient civilizations imagined a flat Earth beneath a dome of stars, where the sun and moon simply rose and set each day. By the second century, Claudius Ptolemy had created the geocentric model, placing Earth firmly at the center of everything, with planets, stars, and the sun revolving around us. This view dominated for over a thousand years, unquestioned and uncontested. Then came the Renaissance. In the 1500s, Nicolaus Copernicus proposed a heliocentric model, suggesting that Earth was just one of several planets orbiting the Sun. This idea was revolutionary, shaking the foundations of centuries-old thinking. By the 18th century, astronomers like William Herschel began mapping the Milky Way, revealing it as a vast, disc-shaped system. Yet a debate lingered. Was the Milky Way the entire universe, or just one galaxy among countless others? The answer came in 1923, when Edwin Hubble turned his attention to the Andromeda Galaxy using the 100-inch Hooker Telescope in California, the largest telescope in the world at the time. Within Andromeda, he discovered Cepheid variable stars, stars whose brightness pulses at predictable intervals. Using Henrietta Leavitt's work on Cepheids, Hubble measured Andromeda's distance at an astonishing 900,000 light-years from Earth. It was far too distant to be part of the Milky Way. In that moment, humanity realized our universe was vastly larger than anyone had imagined. Hubble didn't stop there. Over the next few years, he measured distances to 23 other galaxies, some as far as 20 million light-years away. It became clear that millions, perhaps billions, of galaxies existed beyond our own. But the true revolution came from combining Hubble's measurements with earlier work by Vesto Slipher. Born on a farm in Indiana in 1875, Slipher had spent years observing spiral galaxies and noticed something strange. Nearly all of them were moving away from us. Their light shifted toward the red end of the spectrum, a phenomenon we now call redshift. Yet at the time, no one had the tools to measure their distance accurately. In 1927, Belgian scientist Georges Lemaitre suggested that the universe might be expanding based on Einstein's theory of relativity. His idea went largely unnoticed until Hubble independently observed that galaxies' redshift increased with distance. The farther away a galaxy was, the faster it seemed to recede. This was a cosmic revelation. The universe itself was stretching, expanding in every direction. Hubble announced this finding in 1929 providing strong support for what would eventually be called the Big Bang Theory. Hubble's discovery led to the concept of the Hubble constant, the rate at which the universe expands. His first estimate was around 160 kilometers per second per million light years. It wasn't perfectly accurate, but it set the stage for decades of cosmological research. The Hubble constant has since become a cornerstone of our understanding of the universe, helping determine its age, size, and structure. Yet measuring it precisely has proven far more difficult than anyone expected. Astronomers today use two main methods to calculate the Hubble constant. The first, called the late universe method, relies on observations of redshift in distant galaxies, similar to Hubble's original approach. By measuring Cepheid variables, type 1, a supernova, and even megamasers, galactic microwave lasers, amplified by water vapor near black holes, scientists can estimate distances and calculate expansion. These measurements consistently suggest a Hubble constant around 73 kilometers per second per megaparsec. The second approach, the early universe method, looks backward in time. It uses the cosmic microwave background, a faint afterglow of radiation from just 380,000 years after the Big Bang with detailed maps from missions like WMAP and the European Space Agency's Planck probe, astronomers can trace the expansion of the universe from its infancy. This method predicts a lower Hubble constant, 
roughly 67 kilometers per second per megaparsec. Here's where the trouble begins. The numbers don't match. The early universe and late universe measurements should converge as we gather more data, but they're not. The gap persists, and in some cases, it's growing. Scientists call this the Hubble tension, a discrepancy that has turned into a genuine Hubble crisis for cosmology. It's not just a statistical quirk. It challenges our understanding of dark energy, the Big Bang, and the fundamental physics that describe how the universe evolves. The universe is expanding, yet the numbers don't add up. If astronomers are correct, we're facing a cosmic puzzle that could rewrite the story of everything we know. Recent observations only deepen the mystery. In 2020, DW, Pesca, and colleagues used megamaser hosting galaxies to measure the Hubble constant with remarkable precision, arriving at a value of 73.9 kilometers per second per megaparsec. Just a few years later, Daniel Skolnick, Adam Rees, and their team studied 12 type 1 A supernova in the Coma Cluster, finding an even higher value, 76.5 kilometers per second per megaparsec. And in 2025, researchers in India measured Mira variable stars in distant galaxies, again confirming a value near 73 kilometers per second per megaparsec. Meanwhile, the early universe measurements remain stubbornly lower. The Planck data from the cosmic microwave background consistently predicts a Hubble constant of about 67.4 kilometers per second per megaparsec. No matter how precise the calculations, the two methods refuse to converge. It's a gap that can't be ignored, a discrepancy that has left cosmologists both frustrated and fascinated. As Skolnick himself put it, our model of cosmology might be broken. The stakes are enormous. If the universe is expanding at the lower rate suggested by CMB data, we live in a roughly 13.8 billion year old cosmos destined for a slow, steady expansion. But if the higher redshift measurements are correct, the universe could be younger, closer to 12 or 13 billion years old, and expanding faster than current models predict. This isn't just an academic debate. It challenges our understanding of dark energy, the Big Bang, and even the laws of physics as we know them. Scientists have been exploring radical possibilities to resolve this Hubble crisis. Some suggest dark energy isn't constant, it might change over time. Others propose decaying dark matter or even adjustments to general relativity itself. Each of these ideas would shake the foundations of modern cosmology. But one recent hypothesis takes a completely different approach. Maybe the universe is spinning. Yes, spinning. In 2025, a team of researchers, including Balaz Andrasigeti and Istvan Shapudi, proposed that a very slow rotation of the universe, completing one rotation every 500 billion years, could explain the discrepancy between early and late universe measurements. This spin would be subtle enough to have gone undetected until now, yet powerful enough to affect how galaxies move and how space itself stretches over time. The preliminary results are astonishing. By introducing this slow rotation into cosmological models, the predicted Hubble constant in the early universe aligns with the lower CMB values, while the current expansion matches the higher redshift observations. In other words, a spinning universe could reconcile the entire Hubble crisis without rewriting the laws of physics. Segeti even paraphrased Heraclitus. Pantarai, everything flows. In this case, everything spins. Of course, these ideas are still in their infancy. More detailed simulations and models will be required to see if the spinning universe can hold up against other cosmic observations. But the very fact that such a simple addition, a gentle rotation, might resolve one of the greatest tensions in modern cosmology is breathtaking. It's a reminder that the universe is far stranger and far more mysterious than we often realize. Even if the spinning universe hypothesis proves correct, it doesn't mean we're throwing out our existing cosmological model. Instead, it suggests a rotating variant of the standard model, where cosmic parameters shift slightly to accommodate a new reality. Imagine it. Not only does our planet spin, not only does our solar system rotate, and not only does the Milky Way whirl through space, but the entire universe itself could be gently turning, carrying galaxies along in a cosmic dance that spans billions of years. 
The universe has always been bigger, stranger, and more dynamic than we imagined. From the early geocentric views to Copernicus, from Hubble's groundbreaking discoveries to the mysterious Hubble crisis of today, one thing is clear, the cosmos still has secrets to reveal. And perhaps, just perhaps, we are on the brink of understanding one of its most elusive mysteries, a universe that doesn't just expand, but spins, shaping the fate of everything we see. So the next time you lift your eyes to the night sky, pause and let yourself feel the scale of it all. We are perched on a tiny planet, spinning silently in the vast darkness, orbiting a star that traces its own elegant path through space. That star is just one of billions within the Milky Way, a galaxy that swirls and twists like a colossal cosmic whirlpool, carrying countless worlds, suns, and untold stories along its spiral arms. And yet, even beyond our galaxy, the universe itself may be slowly turning a rotation so vast, so subtle, that it has remained hidden from human eyes for eons. Imagine the unimaginable. Every galaxy, every cluster of stars, every speck of dust and dark matter, moving in harmony within this gentle, cosmic spin, time stretches and bends across unimaginable distances, light traveling billions of years to reach us, carrying the history of creation itself. Somewhere within this eternal motion, concealed in the slow, majestic dance of space-time, may lie the ultimate answer to the deepest question humanity has ever dared to ask. The true nature of our universe. How it began. Why it expands. What forces govern its fate. And what cosmic mysteries are still waiting, just beyond the reach of our understanding. And perhaps, just perhaps, one day, we will not only witness this truth, we will finally comprehend it. And in doing so, come closer than ever to understanding the universe and our place within it.